Hey everyone, so I found this little 10 watt generator, 12 volts on Amazon. And I thought, should I got to get my hands on that and test it? Because that is very unbelievable to me that you'll be able to pull 10 watts from something this small out of your hose. So it's arrived. I've bodged a little hose onto it because these threads are not a very common size. I don't know, maybe in America they are, but I've had to stretch and hot glue this bloody thing on, but let's give it a go. We can track the voltage on here. I'll turn on the load. Alright, the maximum seems to be about 1... 1.3 watts. It was giving me pretty finicky results at 12 volts, just plugged straight into it. So I went and got a 5 volt regulator from a phone charger, and I'll try it with that. I've got a couple of super bright 1 watt LEDs, but remember they only pull 1 watt when it's exactly 5 volts. And here the voltage is dropping a little bit. They both go, but not certainly not at full brightness. sitting around 60 psi things kind of maxing out here i'm just confirming it with my load tester you can crank this thing up slowly until it turns itself off so i've done it a few times here it's really hard to read the screen at the bottom but that's the wattage and it seems to cut out at 1.2 1.3 watts every time so nowhere near 10 watts and that's full high pressure coming out of the hose 60 psi here's how it was listed on amazon and we can clearly see 10 watts at 12 volts but look down here 220 milliamps so they've actually told us that it's uh, rated for less let's calculate that 12 volts times 0.22 amps that's 2.64 watts total Just taking the screws out let's see what's inside and there we go it must be a three-phase ac motor generator because i can see the three phase rectifier diodes there there's six diodes and these are probably smoothing capacitors maybe oh, there we go so you can see there quite a small hole that the water comes out to get it into a high pressure jet and then it just blows onto that so that'll be the magnets around the outside there a sort of waterproof connection and the coils are on the inside there interesting what if it loses efficiency having to go through this plastic here so that's it pretty simple doesn't do too bad for what it is, but it's definitely not 10 watts. It's actually not bad just put together like this without the cover. The electronics are sealed inside. I might experiment with my little splitter set up here. Putting one jet of water on that side and one on that side running it and seeing what kind of results I get. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.